Welcome in on this Friday. You're watching First Shift. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Coming up, details on General Motors' investment plans to produce the Cadillac Celestic EV. But first, your morning headlines. Looks like two former FCA salesmen at a Stellantis dealership in suburban Detroit could be in hot water. Both are charged with wire fraud. Each pleaded not guilty on June 3rd in Detroit to charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud stemming from an alleged scheme to use discount codes meant for family members of Stellantis employees for non-qualified buyers. The alleged activities took place from January 2014 to April 2021. Authorities started investigating after Stellantis employees began complaining that their personal discount codes had been used without their consent, often at the suburban Detroit location. In 2019, FCA gave investigators a list of 268 employee numbers that were reportedly used without authorization. All of them were linked to sales made by one of the former employees from February 21, 2016 to June 18, 2018. The 2021 complaint says he defrauded the automaker out of $8.7 million. In other news, Honda and Sony finalized a 50-50 joint venture to build EVs in 2025. The electric vehicle joint venture will be under the name Sony Honda Mobility and will be based in Tokyo. The company says it will combine Honda's expertise in engineering and manufacturing vehicles along with its proficiency in providing after-sales service with Sony's strengths in imaging, sensing, telecommunications, and entertainment. The new company is expected to sell its vehicles in the U.S., Japan, and Europe. With a lot of automakers transitioning to a fully electric vehicle lineup, many customers are looking to invest. However, it looks like people in the market for an electric truck are keeping their options open by using refundable reservations to pre-order more than one EV. A new study shows this is because the consumer is concerned over whether the manufacturer would actually fulfill the purchase. Staying on the topic of EVs, Ferrari fans can now look forward to an EV and hybrid lineup. Ferrari CEO confirmed the Italian supercar maker plans to launch its first full electric vehicle in 2025. Ferrari also says it will launch 15 new models from 2023 to 2026. The Italian luxury sports car manufacturer says the new vehicle lineup will account for 80% of sales in 2030. American Axle CFO and Vice President says, in his words, there is no process to sell the company. Christopher May made the statement in response to a recent report of a sale rumor. He also says the company is well prepared to survive the auto industry's transition to electric vehicles. General Motors says it is investing $81 million to build the Celestic Cadillac's flagship electric vehicle at the automaker's Global Technical Center in Michigan. It will be the first vehicle built at the tech center. GM says it expects the Celestic will have the highest volume of 3D printed materials of any GM production vehicle at more than 100 parts. It will include a four quadrant smart glass roof and a free form display across the front of the cabin. GM says it is expected to be launched next year, but Cadillac plans to reveal the Celestic show car in late July. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great weekend and we'll see you Monday morning.